So we get a cold open here. MJF and Wardlow are interviewing with Dasha. MJF yes. says, if Wardlow wins the title, then guess what? MJF wins the title because Wardlow's contract says anything that is his is MJF's. And Wardlow says, huh? And he goes, yeah, well, <laughs> who cares? <laughs> yeah, Wardlow rolled his yeah. eyes. It was the greatest thing ever. You know the rock, that give of the rock rolling his eyes? That's what Wardlow oh, did. Oh, Farouk, there. yes. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly what I was like, like oh, yeah. yeah, sure, that's yeah, sure, good. kid. I'll give you the title. Yeah, right. <laughs> MJF is still talking to Dasha when Sammy Guevara comes up. Real pissed off, and MJF goes, God, you suck at promos. And he goes, yeah. <laughs> he says, yeah, the guy that, this guy looks like he sells Adderall to middle schoolers is upset. That, that was a great That probably line. huge, actually. That was really good. That was good, yeah. That was actually I laughed at MJF because I, I got some advice for your promos. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so after Sammy Guevara gets an MJF's face, Wardlow and them, they walk right to the ring from the opener. Which is, I always really like that. I think that's really cool when they walk Dude, straight to the ring. I, I wrote that down that I love backstage segments that lead right into like theme song playing and they write, go right Dude, to the this tunnel. This is war. That song rules so war. fucking much. <laughs> yeah, I like that shit a lot. I <laughs> wore the whole lot, honestly. Um, yeah. And he's been given a really good spot on this card. Um, something we talked about before with AEW is sometimes the matches go, sometimes every match has to be good. And, uh, Mm -hmm. When you get later yes. on in the card, sometimes you just get a little worn out. Um, you get so, burnt out. It's easy. I mean, it, it's you know, it, it's it's tough to say, hey, stop being, stop having so many good matches. But sometimes you don't need, you know, every match to be a fucking barn burner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like the first match on these AEW cards is probably actually the best place to be. Uh, and Wardlow yeah. has yeah, been having so. a lot of these matches, and it's made him look really fucking good. So Wardlow and Adam Page start off in this match with a lot of urgency. Like, you can tell right away that Adam Page has a chip on his shoulder, and Wardlow is here mm -hmm. at every angle to make sure that he does not get the leg up here, and it was it was a hot start. Yeah, this... Th I mean, th for this whole match, I was really impressed. I mean, I, I've already, like, I mean, we talk about Wardlow every week, how we enjoy him, but, like, Hangman's like kind of the guy, and yeah. to see Wardlow be able to go not only toe to toe with him but hang with him mm. this whole match, really. I mean, Wardlow's stock is just fucking going up every week. He had a bunch of cool stuff in this match too. Like basically, it was crazy to see Page kind of he was kind of falling for Wardlow most of this match. That was kind of cool, yeah. which I think is the best mm -hmm. way. I mean, that's they, that's what they've been doing. With Wardlow is the best way to do it. Fucking dude's a beast. He's got the moves, he's, he's got the physique. Yeah, he looks great, he acts great, he's got Dude, like after, a cadence to him. After we watched this WCW show, like I it I was it, Wardlow does this swan ton. I was like, oh my god, that's fucking Sean O'Hare's swan ton. <laughs> that yes, shit looks awesome. Is. He even does the <laughs> arms too. Yeah, he gets all up in there. Yeah, it's really it looked good cool looking. as fuck though. Yeah. Uh Wardlow spears Adam Page to the barricade, and Page gets a nine point nine nine repeating, of course. He almost got of counted course. out, but he got back in the ring because Aubrey said, "Ah, I'll let it slide." I yeah. love <laughs> come on, that, in, big fella. I love that they're protecting this this corner knee, the move where Wardlow gets him up yes. in the corner so, and he does the thumbs down. Yes, I do appreciate that, but it also upsets me as a Wardlow fan because that move fucking rules and I want to see it, and I haven't seen it because <laughs> everyone reverses it now. He needs to stop. He needs to figure out how to stop getting it reversed because eventually it's gonna be like, okay, you're never gonna hit this, big man. The only guys that reverse it are the guys in like the S tier on, on AEW. And yeah, anyone, yeah, anyone yeah, underneath that, Wardlow hits it without hesitation. Like, we need to get he, Lee Johnson back out here so we can get it real quick for one week. <laughs> they'd, they'd have a good match too, man. Lee Johnson is he's they a real fucking Lee Johnson good too. rules. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Adam Page ends up hitting the shooting star press, the running one. Wardlow kicks out at one. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They go into the buckshot lariat and then Wardlow reverses that and then hits his own lariat, which was he just tore that his head off. That was cool as fuck. They let him, well, they had Hangman hit one and Wardlow didn't go down on it. So he went for a fucking another and he just kills him. Yeah, that was later on. This was the one after the. Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Right. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yes. They're right. I forgot how this many. Is where they went to the outside? Match. Was this the one where they. Oh, he go did over the cactus the clothesline, outside? right? Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Is that one happened? He, go, he reverses the buckshot that, yeah. and then Wardlow hits the burning lariat. In that shit was the he ring. fucking yeah. pops him with that thing too. Yeah, um, he sets him up for the F10, hits it on him, and he probably would have beat him, but Adam Page rolled out of the ring to avoid a pinfall, which very smart. Yeah, I mean, fuck man, they booked this fantastic. I mean, like, that's smart. Um, Adam Page goes to the top, hits. Oh my god! So it's supposed to be a fallaway slam, but I 
I don't know, whatever it was, it turned into a just a just a complete destruction. An exploder. He, he yeah. pretty much did an exploder off the top to Wardlow, mm. which is like these are two big dudes to be up there, first of all. But the fact that he like Wardlow landed rough too. Look good, man. It looked fucking real good. I was yeah. like, oh my no, god. No, it did look good. Um, but yeah, then we get towards the finish there where Adam Page, he hits the buckshot lariat on Wardlow, and Wardlow just, he goes down to one knee. He doesn't even go down from the actual first yeah. hit, which has put away god, like every on the roster. Um, and then even better, he hits the second one, and then Wardlow kicks out at three. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, oh, we talked about that rules. before. I love the three kick out. It never gets used at all anymore, and Wardlow kicks out at like 3.4. For a guy yeah. like him, it works, yeah. For so sometimes you don't, like Triple H doing it. To like, dude, you know, Hogan used to do that shit all Hogan the time back in the day. Too. It was the biggest that, yeah. one, two, three, right? Immediately kick out. Yeah, oh, there's some guys that it, like did it and didn't need to do it, but Wardlow's a guy that it definitely helps. Yeah, him. It, so him doing it's fine. It's been in the vault for it. I think it's been in the vault long enough to where you sure. can smartly use it. I'm, I mean, I'm going to do it every fucking yeah. match. I don't give a fuck. If you tell me I'm losing, I'm kicking <laughs> out every time. That's just that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your finish. <laughs> don't hate the play, I hate the game, you know. I don't have much to say other than that. <laughs> uh Save Wardlow. The for your mama. <laughs> exactly. I'm glad you're on the same page. Uh Wardlow is insanely good. Uh if he Yes, I, yes he is. I'm ready for him to beat the bricks off of MJF and do his own thing, but for now this works for me. You know, I'm I'm totally yeah. down with how they're doing this. Slow and steady wins the race in that regard, you know. I agree. 